What's up guys, Soul Metropolis back with another video. we first like to give a huge shout out to Angelus for sending us their newest gear. They supplied us with their newest foam cleaner which is mess free and very convenient. They also supplied us with their newest Angelus brand brushes. And they also gave us a bunch of goodies. So thank you Angelus and let's get on with the video. To ensure that the paint lasts a long time, we first took off the finisher with cotton balls and nail polish remover. To strip the midsoles, we use something called Dad's Easy Spray. It's a paint and varnish remover and it strips off paint great. After trying to strip these for a while, we found that the new finisher on the new Jordans are much harder to strip than the old ones. I know that these look very sloppy right now, but trust me, it's all stripped and it's very smooth. After taping off the soles, I just used flat white to paint the midsoles. I'm using an airbrush here, but you could do the exact same steps and this whole entire custom with a paintbrush. I'm using Angelus's matte finish to seal off the paint on the midsoles. Now this step is completely optional, but I'm taping off all the plastic parts because I am going to use Raleigh Restoration's Scratch Resistant Sealer. on the tongue, I'm going to use a mixture between GAC 900 and flat white. It's going to be a one-to-one -one ratio. Be sure to use a heat gun to heat set the paint. Now I'm using Angelus' olive paint to paint the entirety of the uppers.
For the plastic parts, I'll be alternating between scratch resistant sealer and olive paint, ending on olive paint. For the dye of the sock liner, I'm using a mixture of JC900 and olive paint. Because the eyelets on the Jordan 4s are squares, I had to use a pair of pliers to clamp down the lace tips in order to fit them through the holes. As always, thank you for making it to the end of the video. We appreciate the love and the support. Here's a final look at the shoe.